What was your question again, please? She, she, on she, that street sign. She noticed right that there's here. three different languages uh, on all yeah, street signs. Yeah, so in Morocco, we have three uh, main languages that we use here. Our language is called Darija. D-A-R-I-J-A. Darija is a combination of many languages. It's Arabic, Tamazight, and some words from French. In Morocco, we are two types of people. We are Arabs and Berbers. The native Moroccans, they are Berbers. They are called Amazigh. These are the native Moroccans. They are the original inhabitants of North Africa, starting from Libya, Tunisia, Algeria, Morocco, all the original inhabitants of the northern, northern African part. Uh, the original inhabitants are uh, Berbers, or Amazigh people. And then we started having Berbers coming from the Middle East during the 7th and the 8th century. They used to migrate from the Middle East coming to North Africa, seeking for land and power. And uh, ever since, we started living both uh, together, Arabs and Berbers. The Berbers used to be mostly Jewish people, and the Arabs, as they moved, they started also to bring uh, Islam, to, to spread Islam towards North Africa. And therefore, in Morocco, we are two types of people. We are Berbers and Arabs. Therefore, we speak two different languages. Arabic, you can see it's the classical Arabic. You can identify it if you see it in the street. And uh, the Berber language, Tamazigh, it uh, looks somehow similar to Greek letters and also to old Egyptians. It's something similar to that. And the third language is French. French is a language that is highly used in the business world. You can see that the corporate culture in Morocco uses a lot of French, mostly. So a combination of these three languages is what we call Berija. And in the northern, northern part of Morocco, in Tangier, Chefchaouen, Tidouan, which is close to Spain, people there, they have good skills in Spanish more than French. So in Morocco, we are uh, good with languages. So and in school, at school, uh, what's from, the required language? At school, we study in Arabic, classical Arabic. But up from high school, the curriculum starts to convert to French. So they get uh, the students used to uh, uh, to the labor market. So up from high school, from high school all the way up to college, the curriculum mainly is in French. Okay. That's why you see all the signs in the streets are either in French or Arabic. And the ones that's three is all the, the three groups. Uh, no, the three languages is uh, it could be either Arabic or Tamazight or French. But the groups of people we have in Morocco, we have three Berber tribes here. And in addition to the fourth group, which are the Arabs. The Berbers, there are three tribes. They are called there are Rif and the Rif, these are people who live in the north part of Morocco. And there are the Atlas Berbers, and these people who live in the Atlas Mountains, inland. And there are Sus, those are people who live in some regions, in uh, some of the southern areas and in the east. These are the three Berber tribes that we have, in addition to the fourth uh, group of people, which are the Arabs. So we have four group of people. And in Morocco, we have all the Abrahamic religions. We have the number one is Islam. So 99% of the population in Morocco are Muslims. The second population, they are Jewish. We have a lot of Jewish Moroccans here. So, and the third the group are the Christians. And these are minority. Most of Christians who live here, they are Europeans and Americans and Africans who are residents to Morocco. And Morocco, all the religions, they live together in harmony. There is no discrimination, there is no there's no difference at all. We never ask anyone, are you Moroccan Berber? Are you Moroccan uh, Arab? Or are you Muslim or Christian? This never happens. We're all one people and we like to get milk from each other and we have good harmony. Mm -hmm. And this area where we are now, it's called the Ma'arif and this is like the upscale area of Casablanca. In front you will see tall building. This is the tallest building in Casablanca. They are called twins because they are two buildings. There's one that we are looking at right now and one right behind, which is pretty identical to it. This one is a building that has offices and the, the other one uh, behind, it's a hotel called Kenzie Tower. And uh, uh, Kenzie Tower, it's a Libyan hotel chain.
and the area it's uh, called Marif and this is this is uh, um, the most urban and uh, modern area in Casablanca. A lot of people who live here they are expats. Most most of the expat community who live in Morocco they live in this area because this area it makes it feel like home. It's like European area and and. Uh, uh, Casablanca has a fair population of uh, expats. Most of the uh, international community who live here, they are mostly residents in Casablanca, because Casablanca is the international city in Morocco. And here you can see that every, it looks very developed and new. You what will notice on the road that there is a, a very popular car brand called Dacia. This car, it's a French brand that is manufactured in Morocco. The manufacturing happens here in Morocco and then the distribution goes to to uh, Europe and to other North African countries. It's the car that we use it in taxis and it's the most popular car here. So in Morocco, we have many streams of income. The first one is, is phosphate. Phosphate, we have the largest quantity of it in the world, exists in Morocco. So this is the number one we have. and. It, together with other industries like manufacturing cars and also tourism is one of them as well as agriculture and seafood we have many uh, many industries here so we are not famous for oil the development here it's more of uh, like a self-development that we have been developing over the years what about citizenship Citizenship in Morocco is hard to get. If you get married, you will have a residence visa, but you will not have a citizenship. Maybe after spending many years here and you have like a Moroccan kid, uh, you get a birth, that's when uh, you may have a citizenship. But uh, the Moroccan nationality, it's very, very rare to be given. Born here, you automatically have it. Yes, if you are born here, yes. Even if your parents from somewhere else. So you can see, you can notice the difference between traffic today and yesterday on Sunday. Yesterday, because it was Sunday, there was clear traffic, clear roads. It was Sunday. But now, on Monday, people are working, so you can have a real sense of the city now. Hassan is going to be done. Hassan is going to be done. He's going to be done in the morning. Hassan is going to be done in the morning. He's going to be done in the morning. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I'm not sure what I'm doing.
عندهم من هذا الوقت هنا وعاد غير يمشي هنا فنظن أمريكا هي اللي قلت أنا وقال كانوا في ليبيريا اللي جيت تمشي هنا وقال شعودار وهذا الوقت عشرة 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 عشرة